I am Anil Kumar. Let me first thank all my subscribers for taking keen interest in my videos based on their suggestions. Here is a video in which I will show you how to work with numbers which have decimal numbers as their exponents or powers. So we will try to evaluate uh, numbers like this 9 to the power of let's say 0 0.5 right? 16 to the power of 0 0.25 we could also have something like uh, 4 to the power of 1.5 so all these are kind of decimal numbers right we could have recurring decimals also let's say 0 0.3 recurring correct or let me make this as 0 0.6 recurring correct so these are a few examples which we are going to work with as you know generally when we have a number uh, let me give you some background here as uh, n to the power of x in that case the number n is called the base so we say it is a base to the power of exponent right uh, now when we are talking about decimal numbers you will realize that it is easier to convert these decimal numbers to fractions and then work with them so we'll also talk about n to the power of uh, p over q type of exponents rational exponents right uh, so in the form of fractions you are very familiar with n to the power of p over q really means n to the power of p and the root is qth root right so for example if i have n to the power of uh, 2 over 3 then that really means it is equals to cube root of n and square of n so i could write 2 here or there either way so that is what it is so that is to give you some background so that you understand what these exponents look like or how should they be treated when we write them as fractions right so so the first step here is to convert your decimal numbers to fractions that is your first step right so let's look into this part also how to convert these decimal numbers to fractions so if I have 0 0.5 I can write that as equal to 5 over 10 do you see that and 5 over 10 is nothing but half half means square root so the first one which is 9 to the power of 0 0.5 could be written as 9 to the power of half which is square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 remember whenever we do square root we only take the positive because square roots have only one value which is always non-negative now let's get to 16 to the power of 0 0.25 0 0.25 is a quarter right so we could write this as 16 to the power of 1 over 4 so first step is to convert decimal to fractions then we understand that we are looking for the fourth root of 16 fourth root means if I write 16 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. And if I take the fourth root, since we have 4 2s within, the fourth root will be equal to 2. So 16 to the power of 0 0.25 is equal to 2. I hope that is clear, right? Now let's go a step further. This time we are talking about decimal numbers greater than 1. 4 to the power of 1.5 so we'll apply the power rules of exponents 4 to the power of 1.1 could be written as 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of 0 0.5 right so when you have product with the same base exponents get added up right so this is same as 4 to the power of 1.5 so I could write this as 4 and 4 to the power of 0 0.5 is square root of 4 correct as we did for the first example 
and square root of 4 you know is 2 so we get 4 times 2 which is equals to 8 so I hope that is clear and straightforward now the next one here is 8 to the power of 0 0.3 rec ring so 3 3 3 3 so if you convert that to fractions you get 8 to the power of 1 over 3 correct how to convert recurring numbers to fractions? I'll give you a link on that also. So cube root of 8, this is called, right? This is the cube root of 8, 8 to the power of 1 over 3. As you know, cube root of 8 is 2, which you could also see like this. Cube root of 8, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. That gives you 2 as your answer. Correct? Now, I have multiplied this by 2. So let me show you this part. So we could write 8 to the power of 0 0.6 as uh, 8 to the power of 0 0.3 recurring whole square. Does it make sense to you? Because power rules, they get multiplied. So this is 0 0.6 recurring, correct? It is as good as writing cube root of 8 and then square. We know cube root of 8 is 2. So we're looking for 2 square which is 4 for us. So like this, you could always evaluate powers when given in decimals without calculator. That's kind of very important to understand. So let me take a few more examples, uh, which could be a test question for you. So let's say what is 16 to the power of 0 0.75. So you can pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions 16 to the power of 0 0.75 first step is to convert that to fractions 75 over 100 or 3 over 4 correct so that means fourth root of 16 and then cube it fourth root of 16 we already calculated as 2 right 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so we get 2 cube which is 8 do you see that? Now with these examples, I hope you can find uh, powers when given in decimals. So you can take few practice questions uh, that could be, uh, let us say, 81 to the power of 0 0.75, right? That could be one. Or we could have 27 to the power of 0 0.3 recurring so try these two questions right and then write down your answers in the comments below if you have any suggestions please do make them as all my videos are based on your suggestions and all the solutions are free thank you and all the best